Now, if you look around this room, you'll see different types of hairstyles. Now, if you look at everyone's hairstyle, you'll find that everybody made their hair because they saw it on someone else. It's called influence. You know, I used to wear suits and kaftans to church on Sunday. One day I just stopped. Okay? I didn't announce it. I didn't have a meeting. The next week when like everybody has things how they dress. Yeah. It's called influence. So no matter how hard you think you are, you are being influenced. Do you, you get it? When I was in secondary school, Beyonce, okay? Uh, Beyonce knows. Oh, she's Carter now, yes. He released a song called Irreplaceable. A number of people, girls broke up with their boyfriends over that song. Yes, the song said to the left, to the left. If you, if you, if you want to leave, be my guest. You wouldn't know it before your time. And the effect of the song affects you. Now, those of you young men who unfortunately have lost your virginity, how did you know what to do? Do you see what I'm saying? You're all smart as you don't know what virginity is talking about. What's he talking about? <laughs> Look. How did you know what to do? Songs, music videos, pornography has influenced you. So, as you live in your life now, you are being influenced by something. Every one of us. There's no one, no matter how much you think you're a hard guy, somebody actually influences you. What you are wearing, you saw it somewhere. Everyone here saw it somewhere. That's why you are doing what you are doing. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I recently went for a conference and the pastor preached three times. Each time, he wasn't holding a mic. When I came back, I said, I will not hold a mic anymore. It's influence. So now, the question is that since we are all influenced, what is influencing you? Now, James 3.15 gives us three options. Okay? No, no, I'll tell you when we are writing. We're not writing. I've not started preaching. I'm just talking to you about something right now. I'll tell you when it's time to write. So put your phones down. Look at me. Because when I say just if you say everybody goes, <laughs> no, it's no need. It's on the screen. This wisdom, okay, it didn't come from above. Can we run through some versions? Okay. Animal cunning, devilish conniving, mercy. Okay, let's go back to King James. It all says the same. But wisdom is just how you think. You know why? Because everything you are doing, you think you're wise. Even when you are a fool. So wisdom is how you think. Now I saying that this wisdom or this way of thinking, it didn't come from heaven. It came from an earthly source or a sensual source or a devilish source. We'll talk about that another time. But the question I want to ask is, does the Holy Spirit influence you? Okay, like the Holy Spirit as a person. How much of you does he dominate you say, I'm preaching. All pastors preach. How much of what I'm saying is from me? And how much of what I'm saying is influenced by the Holy Spirit? Because we are all being influenced. If I get angry, what I'm doing, is it out of anger? Or is it because the Holy Spirit influences you? Your hairstyle, is it from you, your mother, your auntie? Or you just had an idea? Few people just have an idea. Those who just have an idea, we kind of see. It's usually a mistake. Do you see what I'm saying? You say you're going natural. Is it a financial decision? Or is it, a, is it a real decision? I'm just asking. Oh, I can't ask questions. Yeah. So, 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 having said that, I want to talk to you about how you can make more of your decisions. Well, we don't know what is influencing us. We all don't know. It's not easy to tell. Now, okay, your boyfriend... Okay, I shouldn't use boyfriend when in church. Your beloved. But let's be serious. I mean, who, who, who influenced you to choose? Your job, who influenced you? You see what you are thinking as I'm preaching? Where is it from? You see what your mind is set on when he close? What, what making you think about when he'll close? We don't know. Now, 
I want to share with you on how you can increase that influence. And it's just one verse we are studying today, only one verse. And then we'll be done. And that verse is from Ephesians chapter 5. Be not drunk with wine. Wine, alcohol. Okay? The Bible is talking about people who are drinking in excess. It's just about alcohol. Then he says that in that same way, he actually links being full of the Holy Spirit to drinking alcohol in excess, not just drinking alcohol. Now, what does that teach us? That teaches us that the characteristics of wine are the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. That a lot of Christians have had an encounter with the Holy Spirit, but they are just tipsy. But they've not reached the place where they are completely... He's not himself. He's not himself. Anything he does is not him. 